What's going on guys, PXCam20 back in with a brand new video. We are here at Sardinia Road Track Layout A for an interesting race on the EMEA account as this has been one of the weirdest but funnest race in the entire week, probably for the entire year in my opinion. It's a great racetrack but just very very closed in, very tight uh, of a race layout and just leads to some really good racing but not only that some extraordinary crazy events that happens here so we're just gonna jump right into it hopefully you guys enjoy as we jump into our first race we get our three two one and away we go as we cross the start finish line we are starting off in seventh place here on our EMEA accounts we are starting in the Chevy so the Chevy has actually been one of the best cars around this track including the McLaren F1 as the uh, McLaren F1 does really well on the corners but the Chevy because of these long straights it can just pull away and just gain into the slipstream very very easily uh, compared to the McLaren so it's whatever you want to pick for this race whether you want to have speed or if you want to have cornering that's kind of what your choice is going to be when it comes to selecting your car but uh, you can see that we were already on the back of the Russian right ahead of us in six so uh, we're just following him right now as we head into this long uh, sweeping left hander and uh, this is the part where it gets a little bit interesting because you get you can see how tight this racetrack is. There's only enough lanes for about maybe three cars, but uh, the way that the race lane racing line goes you can only fit in about two and uh, in into a couple of these corners. So you just gotta be very very careful. Watch out for the breaking point as someone doesn't do that there, and we actually get punched off from behind. And uh, that's exactly what I was trying to explain to you guys. It's just you got to be on top of your toes and just always be wary about the cars around you because you can easily just get rammed out like how we did getting into that hairpin. So uh, the Brit right ahead of us, a real Osman, was the culprit there. So he gets a three second penalty. So the penalty system working in full effect uh, would have been a little bit disappointed or a little bit mad if he would have not gotten a penalty. But he's going to have to serve his three second penalty. We lost a lot of time. To the sixth place driver and so now we just have to make sure that we can pull away from Kim sir right behind us and try to catch back up to these top six guys and not let them get too far but as we cross the start finish line leading us into lap number two you can see that Kim sir gets a really great run onto the outside and he's gonna try to overtake us going into turn number one but we're gonna break later than him and hold the inside and just cut right in front of him as we head into this uh, what is it I guess you would say third fourth corner and uh, we're able to hold off our seventh place position uh, for momentarily. So uh, if we could just put in clean laps here, maybe these guys up ahead will start fighting with um, themselves. And if they do that, uh, we can hopefully close the gap here as it's only about three seconds away. But uh, again, if they start fighting, we'll uh, close the gap here and hopefully we can come home with at least a better finish than we're at right now. But heading into turn number one, you can see the massacre that just took place here as two cars get taken out and I don't know why IB uh, slowed down as I think he was the one that started the wreck but not sure as he, he slowed down for some reason so uh, I think he might have felt guilty about causing that wreck but we really couldn't see because of the hill so um, I don't know Lightning McQueen seen a little sus here but uh, he let us go through ahead and uh, somehow we find ourselves in fourth we just go very wide off of that left hand corner and uh, we tried getting back onto the avoiding well the lightning mcqueen car right behind us and uh, i went to the left and went back to the right probably should have kept on to the left so i can let him go through but um it was just a kind of a split second moment right there and uh, he's actually gonna get the slipstream here so he's gonna be able to overtake us anyway so uh, we just hold it on to the inside here don't want to block him too much but I was not expecting him to try to shoot the smallest gap I was gonna give him the whole entire right side and uh, he shoots the smallest gap we just gave him the spot and we're just gonna follow along with him try to save some more tires and uh, I don't think we're gonna be able to catch up to the podium as they're pretty far away but we can at least come home with a fourth if we could just ride around with him get away from uh, six and everybody else and uh, just save our tires and maybe when we get towards the end of this race, stay in the slipstream and go for that last minute overtake. But as we head into lap number five, the tires are starting to wear out a little bit, so we're just going to follow him into the pits. We don't want to lose that oh so precious slipstream. We're actually going to switch off from the mediums to the softs, as uh, those were the two requirements for the race. So uh, you couldn't just pick one, you had to pick um, both of them. 
And uh, for me, for this race at least, I decided to pick the mediums, just get uh, rid of the hardest compounds uh, right off the bat. And so when we come into the final half of the race, we are just putting in some flyer of laps. And uh, hopefully if we stick with IB, then uh, we can put some really, really good laps and uh, get away from the pack and just make this into a two car race like how I've been planning it all along. But we'll see how things go here as we jump up into lap number seven. And you can see we're staying in the slipstream. A couple more cars that just came into the pits as uh, some cars are able to uh, make the tire wear last a lot longer and actually uh, go up until about lap number six or uh, seven and uh, not have to come until then but um, we came in a little bit early uh, just wanted to take full advantage of both of the sets of tires and um, luckily things are just working out really well as we're able to uh, find ourselves now in fifth place here on lap number nine so uh, plan working great but the only thing is that we did invite Z Richofen right behind us and so this two car battle that I was trying to kind of plan for ourselves actually turned into a three car battle and uh, this can be very very tricky here because all three of us are going to try to go for this uh, fourth place position here um, on this final lap and uh, we're just going to have to give each other enough room as we can so that we don't take each other out and uh, just uh, utilize that slipstream so it's going to get a little bit hectic here as we uh, come at into the final corner. So staying right behind fourth place, we didn't get the best of exit off of the hairpin, but we're going to get the slipstream down here into the straight, leading us into turn number one. And you can actually just see how strong the slipstream is down the straight as we are just close the gap about two tenths of a second, heading into turn number one. We're going to break as late as we can, but we just overshoot it right there. Break way too late, try to avoid the car of Lightning McQueen and we accidentally run in front of him he hits the back of us and uh, we just let him and the Aston Martin get ahead of us so really big mistake on my part wasn't expecting to do that uh, just missed our breaking point and the misjudge uh, how late we had a break there but we were able to let them get ahead of us and we really didn't lose too much time to anybody because third place and everybody else up ahead were already far along down the road as uh, as they could so we weren't going to catch up to them and uh, seventh place luckily we had a huge enough gap away from seventh so he's not going to be able to get into this fight here unless there's something really disastrous happens to us three but we're following along here just staying with the Aston Martins he's trying to make a move onto the inside of Lightning McQueen but Lightning McQueen defends the inside going into the hairpin but looks like he overshot the corner just a tad bit and that allows us to catch right back up there so back into a three car battle um, into this last half of the lap what's going to happen is we head into this really really quick left-hander really difficult of a turn uh, if you just overshoot just a tad bit you're heading straight into that wall into that grass you saw me do that earlier in the video but as we head into the last hairpin we try to get a wide entrance into here as third place actually gets a penalty up ahead and it looks like something happened to him so not sure if we're going to be close enough to get the third place but we are staying right behind this smr see if we get to the slipstream and try to make anything happen here as the Chevy decides to slow down. The Aston Martin slows down too. And both of them just allow me to go through and get that fourth place position. So I don't know what happened there. But for some reason, both of them slowed down, stopped. And we were able to work our way up into fourth place position. So very, very undeserved from my point of view. But for some reason, Z, Richo, Finn, and IB just stopped right in the middle of the track and let me go through. So huge shout out to them. Not sure why they gave me the fourth place, but uh, I guess we'll just have to take it. There's really nothing I can do here. But uh, thank you guys so much for the fourth place, and uh, hopefully we can race again in the future as that was probably one of the funnest races I've had in a while. So we're going to jump into the second race and see what we can do here as we go into the American lobbies. Now, as we jump into the American lobbies, we were able to increase our... Uh, qualifying time as we get a 138.9 so we're trying to crack down into the 138s all week and luckily we were finally able to do it now I just got to work from here and try to get ourselves into like the 138.7s maybe a 6 not sure how much time I could actually gain but we're starting off in third place uh, up right behind Super Chicken and BM Drifter and uh, right in front of STL Stig so uh, we're gonna see if we can try to kind of make a four car pull away here as I think all four of us are A plus ranked drivers so uh, maybe we can try to pull away from everybody just stay in a single file line and then try to go a little bit more of, uh, racier towards the end of this race so 
Uh, heading into this right corner, we get a, a kind of bad exit there as we go a little bit wide. And that just uh, invites STL to try to go onto our outside here as we're defending the inside into the sweeping left-hander. But uh, we're able to hold off our position as it's really difficult to make the overtake on the outside of that left corner. It's just you get a lot of understeer on the middle and exit of the corner. So uh, if you don't put enough wheel turn into that, you can actually run into the barrier there as we try to defend last minute into this hairpin. But uh, it was a very, very last minute move. Was not expecting him to catch up to us that quick. And uh, luckily we were able to hold off our third place position. But you can see right ahead of us that super chicken and Drifter are starting to pull away a little bit and so we just have to kind of focus on making sure that we're hitting our marks staying on the racing line and just putting in as fast as a lot of times as we can but into this hairpin STL did take a little peek on there but he decided to back out right before the corner and uh, we were able to just stay right in front of him again and just focus once again on just staying on the, on the racing line just putting in the fastest lap as we can but STL does get a really great run down the straight, gets into the slipstream, and he's uh, able to make the easy overtake on the right-hand side, heading into turn number one. And uh, at this point, I kind of just let him get it because there's really no point in trying to fight here. We're, we don't want to lose time to second and first. We already lost a little bit of time fighting there, and uh, now we just I have to trust STL that he can kind of pull us up there to uh, Drifter and Super Chicken. We can probably make something work here, but... Uh, we're just falling right behind him and you can kind of see the difference with the McLaren and the Chevy on this race as uh, you can see on the corners that the McLaren is just rockets off of the corners gets a really good um, handling on the medium and low speed corners but for us we're, this is our strong point right here as we get really great um, straight line speed and uh, like I said I wasn't trying to make a move onto the inside I was trying to follow the racing line but just somehow inspired to where we found ourselves on the inside and so we go a little bit side by side miss my breaking point a tad bit get kind of uh, loose midway through the corner and uh, we make a little bit of contact with SCL and I'm just basically hurting ourselves here so I felt really really stupid right here because I kept running into the side of him and just racing him when I really was trying to avoid um, that and uh, this was the result now as we move up into lap number five but on lap number five, we come out of the hairpin, and there's actually a car in the middle of the road, and it's super chicken, as uh, he got loose off of the hairpin, spun out, and that is kind of a blessing in disguise, as me and STL were able just to get a free position due to that uh, mistake, and now we find ourselves here fighting for a podium and second place, so uh, we didn't lose too much time to STL, but BM Drifter is ways ahead, as he's about five seconds away from both of us uh, here on lap number six. Uh, we still haven't came into the pits as we did start off on the racing softs and uh, we're going to come in this lap, switch off to the mediums and try to see if we can um, make up any time on STL and see exactly what uh, tire he's using too as he comes into the pit. So we come into the pit here, it looks like all four, of, top four of us are using the softs here for the first stint and we come out right behind STL, it didn't look like we lost too much time, actually in my opinion it might have been we actually gained a little bit of time. I think we gained about half a tenth or maybe a tenth here uh, in pit. So uh, not too shabby of a pit stop here for us. Um, but unfortunately off of turn number one, all that hard work that the pit guys did, we basically lost it as we were um, about six tenths away from him. Lost it here and we are now down to about 1.4 seconds here. And uh, on lap number nine, we are trying to push as we are just uh, doing everything we can to close the gap and unfortunately nothing seems to be working here as I think I'm just overdriving the car here I know I've been told uh, recently that I've been overdriving the car a lot and uh, this is the perfect example of me doing that as we are just pushing every single corner and I'm missing a lot of my breaking points making a lot of mistakes and you can see that gap is starting to open up even more and more as uh, we go more into the lap but as we head into lap number 10 on the final lap now, we were able to close it by about two tenths, but I don't think it's going to be enough to catch up to second. We're going to really need STL to make a really big screw up here and uh, just fold under pressure uh, in order for us to get anywhere near getting that second place. But as we head into this, long, uh, this fast left-hander, 
This is the left-hander that caused a lot of trouble throughout most of the races and qualifying. As you can see, we get our apex really well, but STL misses his, his cornering. And actually goes a little bit wide on the exit, goes straight into the grass and into that barrier. And that actually cost him on the next corner. So he's got very dirty tires here. He's trying to scrub them off as he's moving left and right. And we are now only three tenths away from him as we only have one fast corner left. Maybe we can beat him on the drag race as the Chevy is a lot quicker than the McLaren. As we're in the slipstream here, we're going to the line and it's going to be a little photo finish. And unfortunately, we were unable to get that second place. Maybe another couple hundred feet or uh, maybe another lap we would have been able to get that second but it just came down to the wire and we were able to get at least a podium but it'd been really sweet to be STL sick for that second place position so really really fun races that we've been having here again it can be uh, some of the best racing you have um, for the month or it can be some of the worst racing that you have it depends on the lobby that you get and depends where you're starting off at just because of the nature of this track very very narrow but just so many opportunities for overtaking and a lot of fast fun flowing corners so really really enjoying this week guys and uh, shout out to polyphony for this great daily race so let me know how you guys are doing in this race or just in the week in general in the comments down below and uh, since you guys made it all the way to the end of the video which i hope you guys enjoyed uh, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you guys really want to support the channel and uh, if you guys want to follow me on the twitches instagram or even follow us on discord we talk about minecraft racing crazy stuff uh, feel free to find all those links in the description down below and uh, once again guys since you guys made it all the way to the end i really hope you guys enjoyed it and if you guys did i'll see you guys on the next one peace out